Hey what's up guys, it's Chris here and today I'm going to show you how to edit your items, your character, inventory, and your stats on Shattered Pixel Dungeon for the PC. So first things first, you're going to need three things. You're going to need 7-Zip, which is a free program, I'll leave a link for you. You're going to need the actual game itself, Shattered Pixel Dungeon, which you can get off GitHub. You should not get it anywhere else, or it might be infected. And you're going to need your save file location. Now I already have mine loaded up. But I'm going to show you how to do that first. If you want to find your save file, you go to your local disk C, go to users, pick your user. My name's Chris, so we're going to go there. Now the next important option, this one might not show up for you, we're going to go into the view tab and we're going to go into the options right here. Then in the folder options submenu, go to view and we will tick two buttons here. First one is show hidden files, folders, and drives. And the second one is make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unticked. That is very important, do not skip that step. So once you have those, a folder called app data should show up or it might already be showing depending on your settings. So go into that, we're gonna go into the roaming folder and now we see dot shattered pixel, which is pixel dungeon. So we're gonna go there and that's where I have my shortcut. So I'm going to open this, show you the folder. I've, I've played before, so I have a few files in here, but no games. Uh, that may or may not have anything in, depending. So what we're going to do now is open the game. Shattered Pixel Dungeon, here we are. Okay. Reset, move that. I'm going to hit play. Don't have a game open. I'm going to go rogue. I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that happens, you'll see game one folder is created. Now here is where if you're doing something such as speedrun or still trying to play legitimate, you can give yourself a little bit of an advantage. So you can open this game folder and you'll see a, fol a file called game.dat. Now game.dat is actually pretty funny because a .dat file is a data file. However, this is kind of a fake data file because it's actually a zip file, which I'll get into later. But for now, all you need to know is that that is actually a zip file. So what we're going to do in order to read the game, we're going to look at this game.dat file. We're going to right click and we're going to hit rename. Now instead of dot dat, we're just going to make it a dot zip. We're going to get a little pop up here. It says if you change the extension, it'll become unusable. Hit yes to change it. And now you have a game dot zip. Now I have WinRAR downloaded because I use that for my zip files however 7-zip should work the same double click the file and in the thing it should open a zip folder with something called game in it which is kind of odd so take this game thing out and drag it into your box here now you can double click this and it'll say how do you want to open this file because it's just a file it has no extension choose notepad or any other text editor most Windows computers have notepad so I'm gonna go with that now here comes a giant list of gibberish, but it all kind of makes sense if you look at it. You see potions, secret rooms, stuff like that. But for the purposes of this, most people like strength potions and scrolls of upgrade, so we're going to go right for that. So we hit Control F to open the find key. So we're going to find it strength. So we see strength potions 1. Hmm, doesn't make sense. Doesn't really matter. Next, we're going to see potion of strength known false. If you change that to true, then it'll show what potion is strength. However, that'll look a little weird if you're trying to feel legit. But the next one that shows up, potion of strength label, is turquoise. That's incredibly important. In this little list of things, it has what every potion and scroll is named. Scroll magical infusion is named a Tiwaz. Potion of liquid flame is a charcoal potion. Potion of healing known, we don't know what it is. But since I'm playing as a rogue, it's automatically identified. Now, we have Potion of Invisibility, it's labeled Indigo, and so on and so forth. So you can read that and find out what potions are what, and you'll have a better run because of that. Now, we're going to close this for now because it's not really important to us. Now, since we edited the game.dat file, we're going to rename that back to game.dat so it doesn't mess with the game at all. And it'll give us that message again. Okay, game dot that. And we can delete that for now. Okay, so now to show you a few things, I'm gonna play through the game a little bit and I'll get a few potions. Hopefully I can find a turquoise potion because I know that's a potion of strength. And I'll show you how to edit the items in just a second. So we're gonna fast forward through this gaming. And here we find a turquoise potion. That is incredibly important. So I'll pick up the golden potion too. 
And this is actually a really good run because I got everything right away. So there's the dew vial, there's crimson potion, there's a ration of food. Okay, so now what we want to do is save this game. So just hit main menu. And now look, we're at Rogue, we have all this stuff. That's fine. And we're back in the game. Great. So now I'm going to close out this folder, go back to the main menu on Shattered Pixel Dungeon, close out Shattered Pixel Dungeon. Now we go back to that handy dandy shortcut, and we go to the game one thing. Now we have the game.dat, we're going to rename that into game.zip, going to reopen game.zip, redrag that in there because now it's a different file since it was resaved. Now we're going to open with notepad. Okay. Now we have the same list of notepads. Or do we? So we're going to start the stop, top again. We're going to search strength. Now, this time we have this little line right here, which is very important. Cursed known, false. That's the item is cursed, doesn't have the potions. Quantity, one. Now, this is where it's very good. We find the potion of strength and we see that we have one quantity, or quantity of one. We can change this to around 20. That's great. Save that, now we have 20 strength potions. But say you want to go a little further. We have a potion of healing in our inventory. Change that to 10. Even though we don't know the potion, this says what it is. So that's quantity 10. We have food, uh, maybe we want 20. So we're going to save the food as 20. Now the rest of the items are here. It doesn't really matter at the moment. So that's it. So we will save that. Now, that saves it into this game thing. Now we just have a game file, but we have to re-zip it. And this is the important part. Right click it and hit 7-zip and open er, add to archive, sorry. And now an add to archive thing comes up. Make sure this archive format, which is default on 7-zip, is changed to gzip because Shatter Pixel Dungeon files are gzip files, which is very important. If you make it any other archive format, it will not work. So we hit OK. And now we got game.gz. So we simply renamed game.gz into game.dat. Now game.dat is sitting in there. Doesn't look like we did anything different. Now we go back into the game, hit play, and here we have games in progress, Rogue 1 1. Okay, it's the same game, right? Open our inventory. Now we have 20 potions of strength. Look at that. And we have 10. Potions of healing. Amazing. So that's how you edit your inventory to add extra potions, extra food, extra anything you want. Now, if you want to edit items, it's a little harder in the game. Um, that's what I would suggest you do if you maybe need a little bit of edge. Um, if you want to mess with your items, it's a little different. So what we're going to do, we are going to delete the old zip game and we're going to delete that game. Now we have the same thing as if the folder was we were, if we just created it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this to game.zip again. We're going to open that. We're going to take the game folder file and put it in there. Open it in Notepad. And now we're back in here. So while we're looking through this, a lot of this is kind of gobbledygook. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But you find a line that's right here. This is your equipped weapon. So you can take this and you see how we have a dagger equipped. So now, if I don't want a dagger, we can change the dagger into something else. Now, I suggest pulling up the list of, well, you can pull up the list of items from the GitHub, which is really helpful, and you'll be able to get the exact name of the items. However, Sometimes you may just be kind of guessing, so it's up to you. But what I would suggest is getting the list of items, which you can find on the Shattered Pixel GitHub. If you go to Shattered Pixel Dungeon Weapons, which is this website, pull it up real quick. Uh, it's GitHub, you can find it. You have to get the exact case for the weapon. So this, the Assassin's Blade, which I'm going to put on, is called Assassin's Blade with case sensitive like that. Uh, if you want to look at the other melee weapons, this is the whole list. We have a whip, worn short sword, warhammer, spear, etc., etc. So what you do is just take the name, like crossbow, whip, etc. I'm going to use Assassin's Blade. 
copy that. Then we're going to go back in here and we're going to find weapon. I accidentally undid it, but the weapon dot melee. Then we're going to go assassin's blade and we're going to save it. Take this off and we are going to rezip this with 7-zip and add to archive. Go in here, game.gz. Take game.gz, rename it, game.dep. And now we can delete these. And now we reopen Shattered Pixel Dungeon, which keeps opening on my other monitor. And we hit play. We have Rogue, continue. And now we look and I have an Assassin's Blade. And I don't have strength to use it, so I'm going to drink it. Oop, okay. I'm going to drink a few strength potions just to show you they're real. The game is not fake at all. Now you can mess around in those options if you want. Now, I no longer have too small of strength to use that. And so we will go, and you'll see my strength is 17. Have an assassin's blade, and now we're just gonna roll up on this rat real quick. Gonna roll right up to him, attack him. Look at that, it's to hit 10. Gonna go to this rat, it's to kill 17. He dodged it, 8, 12. Look at that, all insta kills. It's a real item, not faked in any way. You can put more potions of strength on. I can eat the food. All real, not fake, not trying to get you to download any viruses, just no BS. Now we go up to the fish, dodged, hit 17, one hit. And then Assassin's Blade is good when you're invisible, so you go like that, and you pop the fish for 21. It kills every time. So I hope that helped you if you guys want to mess around with it, kind of try to do different things. I wouldn't suggest cheating in Chatter Pixel Dungeon, I think it's a great game on its own. I play it for my iPad and my iPhone all the time. So I just wanted to show a quick guide on how to edit some things on the computer in case you wanted to mess around with some gear setups and such. So if you liked the video, leave a like down below, and hopefully I helped you out in messing around for the future. Uh, any questions you guys can post, I might respond to your comments if you really need it. Otherwise, have a good day. Thanks.